We are back, and joining us now, we have Caitlin Murray from Bravo, the Vail Music Festival, and we're so excited to have this kicking off tonight, the 35th season of Bravo, and it just, it's so great to have so many things back. I know that we right. had uh, and some abbreviated versions, yes. but the show must go on, and it did in 2020, and again in 2021, and now we're seeing things kind of returning to pre-pandemic levels. That's right, that's right. We're so excited. 35th season of Bravo Vale Music Festival. And the last two years have been a journey, right, for all of us <laughs> in the community, in the world. Um, but we were really, really pleased. In 2020, we actually created a mobile stage called the Music Box, yes. which you experienced, yes. I think. Oh, I love that little thing. And that was so creative of you guys it, to it was, bring the music in a vehicle around to the whole community. Yeah, yeah. It was actually, it was a tiny house, and we turned it into a stage, so one of the walls flipped down. We did about 50 community concerts that way, all outdoors, up and down the valley. Um, so the music box is still in action, and it'll pop up and have Good. some surprise concerts this summer. Um, but what we have this year is a return of four orchestras at full force. Oh, yeah. So last year they were in kind of smaller numbers. So we have big, major kind of masterworks that we're presenting this year. Uh, Beethoven 9 with the Dallas Symphony, Tchaikovsky's Sixth Symphony with the Philadelphia Orchestra, two Mahler symphonies with the New York Philharmonic. So these are just big, huge pieces of repertoire that it'll, I think it'll be a, a big celebration to have them back on stage. Yeah, I think what people don't realize is the last couple of years, then when you did bring some of the orchestras back, you couldn't bring them back in full force. Then it changed what uh, you know scores you could play, what would music that's exactly numbers right. you could play. That's exactly right. <laughs> so. And there's some certain things that we couldn't do. I know that one of the favorites in this community is our movie night, right? So <laughs> with the Philadelphia Orchestra, the orchestra's on stage, the movie plays, but they're actually playing the score to the movie live. So that comes back this year. We're doing Bugs Bunny Comes to the Symphony. What? It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> okay. Yes. So that's a can't miss. Yeah, yeah. This And you got to get your tickets for these because some of those big shows really sell out Yes, too. they do. They do quickly. We open this evening with the St. Paul Chamber Orchestra, and we do have tickets available through this weekend. So we have concerts tonight, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, this chamber orchestra is phenomenal. So a chamber orchestra is a little smaller than a regular orchestra, and they don't typically have a conductor. So it's really cool. The concert master will kind of conduct from the first chair. It's a very different experience. So we'll be doing that through the weekend, and I really encourage people to come. Uh, we do have tickets available. The weather, we don't know what the weather is going to do, but we, we like the moisture here in the mountains. Yes. So you can get seats, or you bundle up and sit on the lawn, which we have such an incredible lawn audience who's so dedicated. They come with all their rain gear, and uh, you know yeah. it's it's rain or shine. It's it's live music. It is, and that venue is just amazing. And yes. you can listen to that magical music, and then have this as your backdrop. And usually there's uh, you know like maybe a little alpine glow on the mountain. Oh my god, right? Maybe there's a rainbow if it rained. You we know? we and also have all. we also have a resident squirrel. <laughs> um, who yes. you, you've heard, heard him, this. Um, yes. and sometimes he makes an appearance on stage um, and, and dances a little bit, and sometimes he just sings along. So oh it's my. to be immersed in nature, right? <laughs> this is what's so unique about Vail. You can hear orchestras at the level of the New York Philharmonic, Philadelphia yeah. Orchestra, the Dallas Symphony, but you've got the Gore Range there. Mm -hmm. um, you've got just this this sense of community and, and just that beautiful, special thing that is Vail. Well, and what I love, too, is that the performers enjoy coming oh, to yeah. Vail as well. Well, and a lot of them have been here year after year, and, and they like to go maybe fly fishing or uh, hiking up on the mountain. We always get a little nervous when we find out that they went whitewater rafting. Oh, We're yeah, like, no, right. please don't do that don't until hurt. after your concerts yeah. are over. But um, they, they go hiking, they go golfing. They, they really make the most of it. And like you said, some of them have been coming for yeah. nearly two, 20 years now. Yes. So their kids have spent their summers growing up here. It really is kind of this family-friendly thing. And it's really neat, right? Like after a concert, you're going to your restaurant reservation and you see somebody in a white jacket with a violin case on their back. And it just has this vibe of, of yeah. community and festival and it's wonderful. Yeah, you're sharing the same street. Exa so that's exactly right. That's exactly right. Well, 35 years, I mean, it's just been, it's, it's such a summer tradition. And even if you don't know a lot about the music and maybe feel intimidated by it, don't let that stop you because no. it's just beautiful to listen it's, to. If you know nothing about classical music, I there's people, you see them on the lawn, they've got the, the crossword puzzle <laughs> out and they're kind of lounging. And also it's just a beautiful way to spend a summer yeah. evening. It's not intimidating, right? I understand in a big city going to a fancy hall and having to put on a tuxedo. Yeah. You'll see people who have their mountain bikes, you know, chained yeah. up to the fence and are in there in their bike clothes. It's incredibly accessible. It's incredibly friendly. It's It's got that casual mountain feel to it. Okay, well, t tonight we kick it off at 6 p.m.? 6 p.m. at the Ford Amphitheater. 
All right, rain or shine. And uh, check out the website. It's bravovale.org, and it give you all the details on the different orchestras that are coming, the educational programs, the free programming, yes. things for kids. So it, it spans the gamut. Tons of programs for kids. Over half of what we offer is actually free of charge. Programs in the libraries, educational programs. There's more than one thing to, to check out every single day of the summer. All right, one of my favorite things to do in the summer are Bravo concerts. So we are back in full force. So check it out this evening. Caitlin, thanks for your time. I know you have a very busy day. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for having me. Okay, so we'll let you go.